Hey, everybody. Clap your hands. Anyway, so um, today I just wanted to go over something with my room and my purging and failure and success. So I hate clutter. The rest of our house is not cluttered at all. The rest of the house is very clean. And it's almost like when I was growing up. The rest of the house was perfect. And then my room was like phew, a bomb. Part of it is that I hold on to things. Part of it is that I procrastinate. Part of it is that I get so overwhelmed. I, I can't complete whatever I started. So um, I started to purge because I have these closet. I have this closet here which is just what you see. It's this big and it's, I have three doors that go to it and they're, it's short. You know, I don't have a lot of space. I have drawers under my bed to compensate. I have a really big dresser for my key, which I fucking love. Even though one of the drawers is broken and now it looks like something from borders. Anyway, um, I started to purge. I had three garbage bags, one for the garage sale that we're going to have for the Boy Scout troop, one for the garbage, and one for donation to savers, clothes, household things, whatever. So if you don't have a savers near you, savers is a secondhand store, thrift store. The money goes to Big Brothers Big Sisters, and you can find a lot of really great things there. If you put your nose up to thrift stores, you're fucking missing it. Listen to Macklemore, thrift store, he'll tell you. Anyway, so I started to purge. I had everything. I was going good. I was like patting myself on the back. And then baby chicks came into my life. And this crate, I don't know if you can see it. There's a whole lot of crap on this crate. But this big dog crate came into my room for the baby chicks. What I forgot, even though it happened last year, the baby chicks are so tiny, weeny, weeny, tiny. They go right through the walls of the crate. Not the walls, but you know what I mean. And I came up here, and there were chicks everywhere, and there was chicken shit everywhere. Even though around the crate, I have wee-wee pads and garbage bags, so nothing's really getting on the carpet. Animal shit seems to be a theme in our house. Do we have too many animals? Maybe. I don't know. That's for another day to ponder. To ponder and think about. Anyway, um, so I got in my bed. I was like, I don't want to go near the floor. I don't want to go near anything. I was almost crying on my bed. And Julian opened the door and he's like, like, what's, you know, what's going on? So I said, I just, this is too much. Like, I, I need a moment. I need a moment to regroup and get it up to clean everything up before any poopies get on my carpet. Even though I will be getting new floors up here, I don't want a, a poopy carpet. My little doodle went downstairs, got a Tupperware storage bin, cleaned it, put all the chicks. I, I lined it up with the wee-wee pads, the food, the water. I got a heating pad for them because I'm not comfortable with the heating light because the base of it was getting hot. I can't safely leave that on. And I don't want to be stuck in a fucking house fire in my room with eight baby chicks because I got to save them. I don't even have enough pockets for eight chicks. Like, women's clothes don't come with adequate pockets for this type of emergency situation. Put him in his room. So I was able to clean up. And the cleanup took, like, three minutes because I had the wee, wee So maybe I did remember. I don't think I did. I think I just did that if anything kind of fell out. Cleaned everything up, threw it all out. I vacuumed. I Lysoled. You know, I'm big on that. Clorox and Lysol. Uh, my friend, if you want to. Sponsor me. I do have 20 followers. So anyway, cleaned everything up, and I was like, "Cool, gonna get back to purging." Didn't. I just didn't. I go in there. I clean the chicken thing every day. I actually clean it about five times a day because I don't use pine chips. Um, no matter what, they're pooping. So do I want them pooping on pine chips where I can't see it? I gotta clean it anyway. This is so much easier. So today, didn't want to do my workout. I did it. I didn't want to make myself breakfast. I wanted to go from Starbucks. I made my own breakfast because Starbucks is not in my budget. First of all, give me 200 stars now for a fucking drink. 
I'm not happy about that big SB. I'm not big. I mean, I'm not happy about it. Whatever. I did not go to the bagel store that I love, and I could have. I would have loved that today. But it's not in my budget, my food budget. It's not in my financial budget. Again, I am manifesting money. Go back to that video if you did not see it for the money mantras and manifestation of money because this is not in my plan. It's not. I make my intentions and I follow through. Thank you, Aria Dawn, for that. Anyway, so I came upstairs and I was like, let me just lay down, watch a little murder she wrote. You know, I'm like a 92-year-old lady when it comes to TV. And I'm laying there and I'm like, yo, this room is really, like, we have a garage sale coming up for the truth. We have a flapjack fundraiser and I'm big on getting donations from the community, from the troop, whatever, to make these baskets because that's where we make our money on the raffles. So I have that here. I have stuff that I bought for Easter. On top of that, I have the luggage that I bought for our trip. I deserve to have the luggage I wanted instead of borrowing people's suitcases, half-ass rickety wheels, getting stuck on shit, worrying about it breaking and having to buy them new luggage. Or carrying 52 bags with one little carrying. I'm not. I splurged with my 50th birthday money, like a 12-year-old. I splurged on luggage. And it's fucking orange. It's beautiful. It aligns with my chakras. It aligns with my personality. It aligns with my aura. I'm happy. So I have everything. In this corner, it's like, scared. Don't come through the door because it's hidden. When you, like, if you just look in, it's hidden. Yeah. It's like a fucking bomb. So today, I'm sitting there and I'm like, dude, like you got you, you deserve to have a fucking awesome room. You deserve to have Minnie Mouse that Julian got you for Valentine's Day. She deserves to be in a good fucking room. So instead of laying there watching Murder She Wrote which is like my ideal day with a Starbucks and a bagel from the bagel place that I like. Okay. Anyway, I did it. This corner is not great, but it's clean. Um, my house, the rest of the house is very organized, very clean. This is just like growing up. Our house was always spotless because my mom would say with her anxiety, it's the one thing she can control. Our house, now I do the same thing, um, keep it clean, floor, like, if you didn't see my video on losing your shit, go back and check it out, house is clean, my room, a fucking mom, and when I lived in Brooklyn with my ex-husband, one of his friends made a comment about clutter in the apartment, and our apartment, I think, was awesome, we had a lot of secondhand furniture, which was fine with me. Um, it all came from my, when I moved out, my mom sold our house, my back. So who cares? Right. That's another day. But I always had a lot of books and I still judge have a lot of books. Now I am not a strong reader, but when I was younger, my mom and my sister, although they say they don't know what I'm talking about now, they bonded over books and history and whatever. So I would buy a lot of books because I wanted to look smart. I wanted to act like I fit in with that. And I did it. And I did read all the books. Some of them took me months to read because I read and then I have to reread. And then if a character's name comes up or if a person's name comes up, I have to go back to the pages before to reread it, to figure it out. Like, how does this, oh, anxiety. So these books that I have here are books, one is for, you know, the scouts and our fundraising because I do the fundraising. Others are cookbooks. Others are, like, these books that I have here all have a purpose. So this clutter on my desk, I'm okay with because I know what everything is. It's all getting used, and I know where they go once I'm done. Unfortunately, a lot of them go right here where this crate is. So anyway, this corner... I have my Cricut here, I have my printer, I have everything cleaned off, 
everything that I'm donating to Savers is out of the house. It's gone. Anything that was going for the garage sale, I have in, in these bags. I have four of them. They're going into the basement. We're going to start sorting things out on Friday and pricing them. Anything I have for the breakfast fundraiser, I have in another bag to make the baskets. It's away in the closet where this dog crate is lying. Everything I have for Easter, because if you now know me, all 20 of you, I need to do things in advance. I need to know that it's done, and one of that is Easter. I get my mom, I make my mom a basket, Julianne, the egg hunt, the whole shit and fart. Kit and caboodle. So, you know, that has to be done. Um, I packed some of our stuff. I know our trip is not for another couple of months, but I packed some stuff that I had already bought. So it's not just around. When the time comes, it's not missing. I know where it is, and it's all there. So I'm very proud of myself today. I might now go relax. And if, I don't know if you can see, uh, I'm pointing like that bag on the bed, the black orange bag. That's Julian's Halloween candy. Why do I have it? I'm throwing it out. Um, he doesn't even know that it's there. So I'm throwing it out. I might look for a tootsie. No, I'm not looking for a tootsie roll. Because if there was one in there, I probably already ate it. So I'm throwing it out. I don't need it. He doesn't need it. It's just taking up space. And this corner looks beautiful. I'm very happy. I do still have to do some stuff over there. I put some things on the other side of the bed because I feel like if I don't see it, it doesn't really count. But, uh, of course, it does. I have a whole thing of medical supplies on that side that I, I need to put away. But that's it. I just, I'm, I'm feeling good about my progress today. I did a lot this morning. I did my exercise. I did my dish. I did the dishes. I made myself breakfast. I made myself my own coffee, which was not as good as an upside down caramel macchiato hot venti. It took me a lot of years to learn that order. Sometimes I get it with oat milk. I usually get it with oat milk. But sometimes I don't want to pay 70 cents for oat milk. Anyway. I'm going on about things that have nothing to do with anything. But that's kind of how I do, right? Yeah. So, all the drawers on the bottom of my bed, on this side, they're all cleaned out. I found a lot of stuff that I'm saving just in case and all gone. On the other side are all my medical supplies, my Reiki sheets for my Reiki table, which I haven't practiced in a while, except for on myself and on Julian and my mom and a friend. So maybe I am practicing more than I think. Um... So that's it. What did you accomplish today? Let's talk. <laughs>